Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about Black Monday and how it might affect the Dallas Cowboys. Is it serious? Very serious because uh, teams and organizations are starting to make their uh, their changes to their team by firing uh, general managers and coaches. So a lot of staffs are being purged out right now. And in doing that, they're looking for new faces, new leadership. All right, so we're getting word here that um, the New York Jets are going to request to interview Chris Richard, Cowboys DB and passing game coordinator. All right, so that would be bad. Uh, I don't want to lose Chris Richard. All right, so let's talk about Chris Richard first, and then we'll, we'll touch on Will McClay. All right, so every year, the NFL uh, committee comes out with a list of, uh, you know, assistants or, or people that, that are going to be good choices they recommend to um, teams around the league. And Chris Richard is in that tier one level. All right. So that means if uh, he has a really good shot at becoming a head coach at some point, he's 39 years old, he's young, but uh, the league seems to kind of be trending towards younger coaches here in recent years anyway. Um, and honestly, Chris Richard, I think, definitely has that pedigree. You know, he definitely has that uh, that type of style where he could be a head coach. All right? He could even be a head coach for the Cowboys if it came down to it. Players really um, take his coaching. And you've seen what he's done in Seattle. You've seen what he's done with the Cowboys. And it's just... Um, It'll just be a matter of time. Now, for the Cowboys, you have, to, you have to take this into consideration, all right? Most likely, Jason Garrett's coming back, all right? Love or hate it, whatever the hell you, you think. It, it's Jerry Jones, all right? So, I think uh, Garrett is probably safe. They're even talking about doing a contract extension for Jason Garrett. Um, that being said, you know, let's just assume that that's what happens. What do you do with Rod Marinelli? What do you do with uh, Chris Richard, you know? I think if you really want to keep Chris Richard, you're going to have to make him the defensive coordinator, all right? And maybe, you know, see see what Rod Marinelli wants to do. Does he want to retire? He's already up there in age. The Cowboys have, you know, persuaded him to come back. Um, so I think he's kind of leaning more towards retirement. Could he be uh, kept on as a consultant, kind of like Monty Kiffin was after they, you know, changed him out for Rod Marinelli? Could Rod Marinelli become that that kind of role? And then you give Chris Richard the defensive coordinator title, all right? But we'll have to see how this works out, you know? Um, the organization has to give permission, all right? Now, do the Cowboys uh, say no, not right now, maybe after the season? I would, I would prefer that, but you don't want to uh, limit anybody's ability to make money. So we'll see what they do there. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the Jets have a lot of candidates they're going to look at, you know? If I were the Jets, you probably want to go with somebody – offensive minded even though the Jets historically are a defensive kind of team so maybe they want that defensive minded kind of uh head coach you know Chris Richard better better defensive guy than than Todd Bowles you know in my opinion you know we've seen what Todd Bowles did here with the Cowboys we've seen what he's done you know after that it's just been like eh, it's been okay I never saw that as something that was gonna be a long-term deal okay so Chris Richard, he'll be on the interview circuit. You know, the Jets will probably be calling. There'll be some other teams that'll be calling. It won't just be them. So, could we lose him? That's a possibility. If, if we do lose him, you got to extend Rod Marinelli. All right. So, a lot to think about there. <clears throat> All right. The other, the other thing here, uh, Will McClay uh, was also given a, uh, you know, a recommendation by the NFL committee as a as a person that should be hired as a general manager in the NFL. So McClay has interviewed, you know, several times over the last couple of years. And he, in the end, he's always returned back to Dallas, you know, now how long is that going to continue? Is that always going to be the case or does he want, or does he really, you know, want to just stay here with the Cowboys? All right. So maybe he'll, he'll do the interviews here for these organizations, but what if a deal comes across too good to pass up. Would you lose him? Losing Will McClay would be a huge blow to the Cowboys. Um, even though I think uh, Stephen Jones has probably learned a ton of talent evaluation from Will McClay. Now, you can't replace him. The Cowboys don't have somebody in-house to, to replace him. They don't really have somebody that uh, 
as mentored. I mean, you have younger scouts in there that you could elevate, but still, losing Will McClay would be would be a huge hit in, in your draft uh, capabilities. So hopefully we don't lose him, all right? But that's what happens when your team is successful. Uh, kind of weird saying that now because, you know, this season definitely didn't start out successful. It looked like we still need a lot of work, and we do. You know, don't let, don't let the record trick you. 10-6, and six, started out rough. That offensive line, it needs fixing, all right? It, that, that needs revamping, all right? So um, what do they do there with that? Um, you know, you probably need another receiver. You got, I think you got to add another receiver. You got to add another tight end. I, I like what the tight ends have done so far. Dalton Schultz is coming on, Blake John. But uh, if, if you can get somebody outstanding, somebody of a legit talent, um, you know, like a Zach Ertz or a... Uh, you know, somebody of that, of that caliber, you can't. I mean, you, you got to go for the player, All right? Um, receiver is another one. You, you may need to, you may need to get a, another backup running back at some point. Maybe a change up back. I think the Cowboys have been, they've been kind of playing with that uh, change up back role here. You know, they they wanted to do something with Switzer that didn't work. They wanted Donnell Pumphrey. Remember that? They didn't get him. They went with Switzer. They traded him. They brought in Tavon Austin. Injury prone as hell, all right? Uh, can't count on him, can't get on the field. So I think the Cowboys are looking for that change up guy that they can count on. You know, if you could get like a, a Tariq Cohen type of guy, that's who you want. All right, if the Cowboys can find that type of player in this draft, you gotta get him, all right, you gotta get him. So uh, lots to think about here. As Black Monday in the next couple of weeks start to, uh, to progress, how the Cowboys, you know, keep this, you know, keep the staff in place. You know, do you, do you do that? Do you make a move with Mar Marinelli? Do you are you able to keep Chris Richard? Do you do you promote him? You know, do you do you get rid of Scott Linehan? I think you have to. I think I think we're just you know going through the motions with him. It's time to bring in some fresh some fresh blood. Um, Adam Gates just got released by the Dolphins. He might be somebody to keep an eye out on. Uh, Freddie Kitchens as well. You know, I did a video on on guys that could come in here and possibly replace Scott Lindham. But Adam Gase is out there on the on the market now. Add him to my list. If you missed that, I'll have that link here at the end of the video. All right. But uh, lots to think about. Hopefully, we don't lose any of these guys. And uh, hope we can keep this thing going, baby. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's inevitable that we lose Chris Richard? Would you want to keep Chris Richard, promote him, and then do something with Rod Marinelli? What do you think here? All right, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that situation there. How do you think that'll unfold? What would you do? All right. And um, how big of a hit would it be if we lost Will McClay to, to one of these other teams? All right, let me know in the comments, guys. Enjoy your New Year's Eve. And a happy new year to every single one of my subscribers. If you're still lurking, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, but important, uh, hit that like button. It really helps the video. It helps the channel grow a lot. So you guys keep pounding on that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can become part of the notification hit squad. All right. America's team, baby. America's team. We run the NFC East. So enjoy your new year, 2019. I'm glad to have all you guys as my subscribers. Can't be here without you. And we're going to keep rocking and rolling into the new year, baby. Have a great one. See you for the next video, guys. Peace.